the tomatoes are having a little bit of an issue. This one is kind of yellowish, getting a little bit of brown spot on the leaves. This tomato plant is super healthy. There's no sign of disease at all on this one. And these Cupid grape tomatoes are also having a little bit of an issue. There's kind of a weird leaf brownish wilting. Not sure if it's blight or some other type of disease. But other than that, at the top of the plants, these are still doing pretty good. There's tons of red, ripe, healthy tomato clusters. It seems every year my tomatoes have a little bit of problem with either wilt or blight. Last year I used a product called Actinovate which is a fungicide, and I had a record-breaking healthy tomato crop. But this year, I can't find the actinovate, I guess because of the virus pandemic thing. So I'm gonna try this fungicide, and this is a lot more cost-effective. You get a whole lot more uses. The actinovate only gave me four treatments. This is probably like a hundred for the same price. And the fold-out instructions shows that it suppresses downy mildew, early blight, and late blight. Says it's just a natural occurring bacteria that is the fungicide active ingredient. The recommended treatment is one teaspoon per gallon of water every seven to 10 days as a soil drench and also you can use it as a foliar spray. So I mix up two teaspoons and a two gallon watering can. And I water the soil, this is called a soil drench. I'm also gonna fill up this spray bottle and do a foliar spray. It's one week. Two days later, I'm going to do a second dosage. It's another eight days later, and I'm doing a third dosage of the fungicide. So far I've done three soil drench and foliar treatments and I've used about half of the bottle. So I guess this would do about six total treatments. And it does seem to work. The plants are looking 
healthier. The leaves don't have that brownish drying on the tips. And while this tomato plant didn't make it, these other two Romas seem to be doing better. They've got healthy new growth at the top. This one is still lush green. And it's just crazy loaded with red ripe Roma tomatoes. So my initial opinion is this stuff does work and I will buy it again for next year. The only thing I would do different is I'd start using it earlier in the year. I kind of started late when the plants had already shown signs of blight and disease. <laughs> 